Good evening and welcome to Ebru Africa Prime Time News on this 7th day of November 2014. Glad to have your company. We are coming to you live from Ebru Africa headquarters here in Nairobi. What you are seeing right now, vehicles are coming from Kisumu and that's the body of the late Atenuka Joang. It has arrived at Waondo village and tomorrow morning that's the body that will be laid to rest here at Waondo village. Right now, let's take some of the sentiments and opinions of the residents of Wanda Village and what they think about the late Senator Gerardo Tiano Kajoan. On a day that the Kenya Defense Forces intercepted a four-wheel drive car laden with explosives at the Kenya-Ethiopia border and killed five occupants, the Department of Defense says the vehicle had six suicide vests and 100 kilograms of TNT, which is used to make bombs. That and other stories coming up right here on Ebro Africa. The president's entourage then left the airport for his Harambe House office. At 20 minutes past 8 o'clock in the morning, a welcoming mood is set here where the president is expected to make his first stopover. Immediately, he leaves Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The crowd is charged and excited. This might as well turn out to be a typical political rally. A mighty reception it turned out to be. The Kenya National Union of Teachers has directed teachers deployed in parts of the country that are deemed insecure not to go back after the holidays owing to the wave of insecurity being experienced in the country. This comes just the day after 28 people were killed, majority of them teachers, in an attack by Al-Shabaab in Mandera. Meanwhile, the Kenya Red Cross confirmed today all the 28 bodies have been positively identified by their relatives. The race against time to secure travel documents in preparation for next week's trip to The Hague comes with a lot of moral support. The MPs are also in solidarity in dismissing claims that a lot of taxpayers' money will be used, saying they are footing their own bills. Attorney General Gidu Migai tells me such a forum is commendable and should be encouraged and embraced by other institutions. We are in the first five years of our constitution, these frictions that we find are inevitable. Here at the Chiromo Funeral Home, a post-mortem has been conducted to the 28 bodies of the victims of the Mandera massacre. Family members are expected to start picking bodies of their loved ones from tomorrow morning. Moving on, President Uhuru Kenyatta and host Ethiopia Prime Minister Hele Mariam Dezele held a second day of talks with South Sudan's political leaders, but a deal did not appear imminent. The next elections might be three and a half years away, but for Wanjiru, her campaigns have come early. She claims she has what it takes to solve the problems facing Nairobi. And I can tell you, the Nairobi governorship position was mine. It still remains the same. Reverend Margaret Wenjiro is now set to go for the Nairobi governorship seat come 2017 and vows to be the first female governor in the country, having graduated with a degree in leadership and management here at the St. Paul's University. One person has been killed and several others injured after angry Majengo youth went on the rampage to avenge the killing of terror suspect Hassan Guti. Hassan was killed yesterday and chaos broke out after the stone-throwing youth attacked motorists and passerby immediately after they buried him at Kikowani Cemetery today morning. The 140 megawatts geothermal power plant provides for clean and reliable energy source that replaces diesel-generated power. Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirichu says Kenyans can now expect their power bills to reduce marginally by between 20 to 30 percent. Mm, as Usalama Watch Initiative, do you think what the Ministry of Transport is doing and the National Transport and Safety Authority are doing, do you think it's enough and what more would you like, you, or would you like to see them do? Oh, okay. That sounds like a, a, a report card and a scorecard for them. Yeah. Um, President Uhuru Kenyatta has called on the youth to take a bolder step in securing their place in the society. He was speaking during a commemoration dinner function in memory of Mbogua, who was a nephew to the president, and his fiancée, Rosemary, who were killed by terrorists during last year's Westgate attack on 21st September. Apart from enhancing easy access, not only in the city centre but also in the upcountry, Buddha Buddhas have proved to be serious death traps in the country, considering that many accidents are associated with them. 
and the director of the Criminal Investigation Department, Ndegwa Muhoro, stepping out of a meeting with the Lands Committee in Parliament buildings. They were here to furnish the committee with information and documents on the 134-acre current land. As they continue with their probe, the members of Parliament wanted to know the status of investigations into the land saga. We are in the process of engaging with the ministry so that we can say, give us this, give us that, give us this. We have asked for some of them. Uh, we have received some, but there is much more that we need to receive from them. The Cabinet Secretary for Lands, Charity Ngilu, and the National Land Commission both branches off the various concerns that the members of Parliament have that what was committed yesterday on paper might not be implemented. They say they have an ultimatum from the President which they must meet. It is 14 minutes past 9 o'clock and you're still watching Ebru Africa Primetime News. Many thanks for staying with us. Let's move on to other stories making headlines today. And as we leave the shrine, it's pretty much clear that people have dedicated their time to pray for the country. As Kenyans continue to enjoy a relatively secure nation. Reporting from Nyeri County, I'm Sam Gakunyi. And that's all we had for you on today's edition of Ebru Africa Prime Time News. Many thanks for watching. I'm Sam Bakuni. I leave you with tomorrow's weather forecast and also after the weather forecast, be sure to enjoy a movie called Game of Death.